The 1798 measles outbreak of East Hampton all started with Ebenezer Dayton, born in Brookhaven, Long Island in 1744. He was a controversial character from Connecticut coming to East Hampton, peddling his wares to the local residents. While entering East Hampton, Dayton was infected with the measles virus, which at the time was extremely deadly. With a 50% or higher mortality rate, and causing blindness to those who would survive it. Upon arriving at East Hampton, Dayton was ordered to stay at the Ordinary, a local inn for several days to recover from his virus. He ignored the advice and instead went to the church the very next morning, sitting in the first pew. While attempting to peddle his wares to churchgoers, they immediately noticed his red face and rashes. He was ordered to leave town urgently by the angry locals. While leaving, he was overtaken by four young men, brought back to town, ridden on a rail, where he was beaten, had his hair cut off, and finally dunked in the town pond. After this incident, over a hundred people in the town contracted the deadly virus. So what did Mr. Dayton do? After causing a measles outbreak in East Hampton? He sued, of course, and was awarded damages of $1,000. His lawyer was none other than Aaron Burr who in the 1800s was elected vice president to Thomas Jefferson, and who, a few years later, killed Alexander Hamilton in a duel. This is just one of the many absurd events surrounding Ebenezer Dayton's life story, which includes things like kidnapping, being kidnapped, capturing and stealing from British ships, being run out of town multiple times, and then finally faking his own death. I hope you enjoyed this short piece from History of the Hamptons. If you like this and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.